Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rachel from Evelyn and Peter and I have a very fast crochet blanket pattern for you guys today. So I'm gonna hold it up so you guys can get a little look. I am in love with this throw blanket and this color yarn. I think this yarn is so pretty. This is the Spice Market yarn um, from Lion Brand. This is the Woolies Thick and Quick. Um, don't judge my ends not being woven in yet. I still have to do that. <laughs> but this uses only seven skeins of Woolies Thick and Quick yarn, which is really um, good for crochet. It gets you a nice, decent size um, throw. And then this stitch is a very stretchy and meshy so it just drapes really well toss it on the back of your couch um i just love how it turned out and it's very easy to customize too if you want your blanket bigger or smaller or whatever it's really easy um to adjust those uh stitches and rows and i'll tell you how to do that in the pattern and then it's very simple just worked bottom up and rows and you're repeating the same row over and over and over again so it's Really awesome pattern if you just want to zone out, put something on TV, and work up a blanket in just a couple days, then this pattern is perfect for you. So it's available as a line brand yarn kit, and I'll link to that in the description. And I like to recommend the kits if you plan on buying the yarn um, because it's a good deal. You get my printable pattern for free. They'll toss that in. Um, it's a digital link, and then you can print it out and just keep it online or printed, um, and you don't have to deal with ads or anything like that from my blog. Um, and then you can even customize the yarn color that you use. So there's so many pretty colors with Woolies Thick and Quick yarn. Um, so lots of options there. Um, and then you only need seven skeins. All of that um, yardage is on my blog as well, but it the kit comes with um, all seven skeins of yarn. Um, and then when there's a sale, I will share that in my newsletter with you guys. Uh, lots of times they have really good 35% off sales with it. So you basically are getting the pattern for free plus 35% off your yarn. Um, so if you want the kit, I will link that. And then the free version is of course always on my blog for you guys. So I'll link that as well. And then the printable versions are available in my Etsy and in my Ravelry shop. Um, so all of those will be in the description and that is pretty much all you need to know for this pattern. You use a, a large 15 millimeter hook. If you don't have a 15 millimeter and maybe you have uh, one size up, that will totally work too. It's supposed to be um, very oversized, like meshy stitches. So you want your stitches to be nice and loose. And then um, the chain one spaces within the rows. Um, I just wanted to point out that you want to keep those loose as well. Don't tug tight on your chains. You want to keep a nice even tension as you go. And that is basically it. I hope you guys enjoy this pattern and I will catch you guys in the next tutorial. So to make this blanket, you are going to need some super bulky yarn. I'm using Line Brand's Woolies Thick and Quick in the color Spice Market. I love this yarn and all of the exact yardage for this is available on my blog if you wanna check that out. And then you also need a pair of scissors and a needle to weave in your ends and then a 15 millimeter crochet hook. So this blanket is worked from the bottom up, so you can go ahead and grab your yarn, and we're just going to start with the slip knot. So wrap it around your fingers and pull that loop through, and then go ahead and insert your hook and pull tight to secure. And we are going to be starting with a chain. So for this video, I'm just going to show a small swatch of this blanket, and it's going to be the exact same thing as my bigger blanket, just a tiny version of it, so you guys can see how it is made. So go ahead and yarn over and pull through. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, chain a total of 13, but if you are making the blanket, you are going to need to chain 57. So yarn over and pull through a total of 57 times. And just try and keep your tension even here. Don't do your chains too tightly and just try and keep it even as you go. And if you want your blanket wider than this, you can go ahead and chain as many as you want. Just make sure it is an odd number. So once you have your correct chain count, which is 57 for this blanket, we're going to start row one. So we're going to be putting our hook into the third chain from the hook. So skip over those first two chains. And then in the third chain, insert your hook into that back bump and then yarn over and pull up a loop. And then you're going to insert your hook into the chain right after that one. 
yarn over and pull up a loop. We have three loops on our hook at this point. And then you're going to yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops. And then once you make this stitch, you need to chain one. So always chain one after you do that. And make sure you don't pull this chain tightly. You wanna just keep your tension nice and loose. So try not to pull that chain too tight. And then you're just going to repeat this all the way across the row. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it again. So you're not skipping any chains, you won't ever be skipping chains for this pattern. So insert your hook into the following chain, yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the chain right after that, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Then yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the final two loops, and then chain one, making sure you are keeping your tension even. Then go ahead and do this again, and we're gonna repeat this all the way across the row. Okay, so I'm coming up on the final three chains of the row. So I'm going to go ahead and work one more stitch over the next two chains. And then when you have one chain left, don't forget to do your chain one here. So you're still ending with a chain one. And then in that final chain, you're going to finish the row with a single crochet stitch. So don't forget to do that chain one and then just work a single crochet into that final stitch and that completes row one. And your stitch count for this will be a total of 55 stitches and chains. The chains here um, are, count are counted towards the stitch count. Um, so you should have 55. Um, you can see here that I have 11, so it just goes down um, by two from your starting chain. So after row one, we're gonna start row two, and then row two is what we will be repeating throughout the rest of the blanket. So go ahead and chain two, and then we're going to be working our way across, doing the same thing, but now we're working our hook through stitches and chain spaces instead of chains. The chain two does not count as a stitch. So we're going to be working through that very first stitch, which is the single crochet from the row below. So insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then insert your hook into the chain space. So not into the actual chain. You don't need to worry about wiggling your hook into the chain. Just put it in the chain space and then complete the stitch. Um, working over that stitch and chain space and then chain one. And then we're just going to repeat again, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert your hook into the chain space, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, chain one. So just repeat this all the way across the row. So it's the same as the first row, we're just working into um, the stitches and chain spaces. Okay, so I'm coming up on the end of the row here. I've worked my last stitch and my final um, chain. And then in this last stitch of the row is where you're going to be working your single crochet stitch. So insert your hook and then work your final single crochet and that completes row two. And this is the row that you're going to be repeating throughout the rest of the blanket. So you're going to start off row three by chaining two and turning your work. And then just start off the same exact way, putting your hook in the first stitch and then into the chain space and working your way across, making sure you do those chain ones in between. If you still need a little bit more practice, you can go back in this video and rewatch row two again, since that's the repeat row. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys really quick what the finished blanket looks like. Okay, so here is my finished blanket. This is 48 rows, and I'm gonna show you how to fasten off your work and finish off your blanket, but I just wanted to show you guys how stretchy this stitch is. So when the blanket is done and you're holding it up and using it, it does stretch a lot with weight. It gives it that really nice, pretty um, mesh look to it. So it's very drapey and stretchy and like just a really bouncy, cute blanket. I love how it turned out. Um, I think it worked up awesome with this yarn. So once you have as many rows as you are going to make, uh, for your blanket. You can just finish with your regular single crochet into that last stitch and then just fasten off your yarn. 
So if you have, if your yarn ran out like in the middle of the row, you'll just wanna pull back and just finish on that previous row and fasten off. And then you'll have some ends to weave in if you didn't um, crochet directly over them. So you can just go ahead and do that. And then that is it for this design, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.